back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that our Patreon community uh, continually contributes to our uh, Patreon. So we were able to buy this Knob Creek. This was not sent to us. We did buy this. Basically, yeah. Pa thanks, patrons, for buying this bottle Thank so that we can tell you about it. Exactly. Uh, this is the Knob Creek Bourbon and Rye. Bourbon, bourbon, bourbon X Rye. rye. Bourbon X Rye. Bourbon, bourbon Times Rye. Times Rye. Bourbon versus Rye? Burb uh, I don't know. Bourbon V Rye. Uh, no. X going to give it to you? Rye? Uh, yeah. I knew it, that was it, it is blended straight. Did you? Wow. I did. Getting too predictable. It's blended straight whiskeys. Uh, here's the breakdown, which we love the transparency. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Knob Creek. It's 30% of a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that is nine years old. So basically, regular Knob regular Creek. Regular Knob Creek small batch. Yeah. And then 70% of it is a Kentucky straight rye whiskey, which is seven years old, which is besides the new 10 year rye that came out recently, there are other uh, age data rye, seven years. So mm -hmm. it's basically jamming those two together, but the proof is different. 113, I like that. Yeah, same. I'm intrigued by that. I mean, I'm a big fan of Knob Creek rye and just like Knob Creek small batch bourbon, with, especially since the nine year age statement has come back for the price point, solid choice. So I'm interested to see what this blend is like. Yes. Seems like they're going for a little wild turkey uh, forgiven. Uh, forgiven. Boo rye, yeah. like a whoopsies. <laughs> no, I don't think there's any this story was intentional. of a whoopsies. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give it a shot. The rye, this the 70% pepper. of the rye mm -hmm. is definitely coming On through. On the nose, yeah. But even their rye is a lower percentage rye. It's not a high rye rye. Yeah, I get a lot of pepper on the nose. Um, but I like that with a little sweetness. Yeah, still the vanilla of the bourbon coming through on the nose. All right, well, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it smells good. Good nose to your health. Oh. Very peppery. Got some heat. I mean, this is my first sip of the day, so I'm definitely gonna go back for another sip. Wow, um, just 113 proof? <laughs> just 113 proof, are you serious? Wow, definitely hot. You serious, hot Clark? <laughs> you serious, Clark? Definitely hotter than Knob Creek 120. single barrel yeah. at 120. I'll say that. A lot of peppery spice Pepper. Uh, on the front. Now, as I am letting it settle into the chest fields here and going into the finish. <sighs> I had to get a drink. The, the vanillas are really coming up through this is what okay. it was uh, you know picked up on the nose. I know that's a very gimme um, <laughs> flavor note. And yeah, nosing, Chad, does it also have caramel? Nosy note. It's got some caramel <laughs> and, some, and some oak syrup. Wow. But you know, <laughs> we say that when some present with, you know. A, very classic. A, the most forward note. Yeah, you know? true. And in this one, I feel like it's the vanilla. Should I go back in for a second sip? You should, but we should wait because oh, okay. I want to tell, tell them. About I want to tell them about our home on the internet, Sarah. It's whiskeyambitions.com, where you can get this shirt that is now back, back in, in stock. stock. All sizes restocked. We've been getting a lot of messages and emails and threats. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding about that. It's back in stock, everybody. Uh, the hat that I'm wearing, the Glen Cairns, we're drinking from all of our glassware, including our water glasses, our copitas, our mini glens, uh, bottle cut candles. Uh, more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that one buck will help go towards things like this so that we can give you reviews and hopefully, you know, save you the money or not on some of these bottles. You also get first access to events and more. All right, let's go in for that all important second sip. I'm gonna be real with you. Hmm. I don't think this one needed to exist. Well, it's coming across really hot and like in a- It is hot, yes. I don't, I guess like an ethanol way. Like, you know when you lean your head too far over it, if you're at a distillery in one of the tanks or um, the fermentation, yeah, where like the fermentation vats and stuff, and you get that blast of like uh, CO2, I guess, and it makes you a little dizzy, or you get that like, that feeling that there's alcohol vapor in the air. Yes. That's how it feels in my mouth. Um, <laughs> I I like the bourbon by itself. I like the rye by itself. I don't know that I feel that this is better, that the sum is better than the parts, well, as you is, say. This is, yeah, this is sort of what I'm getting, um, like also on tours where sometimes they'll let you taste the white dog. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that residual feeling. Same, I keep uh, going for on, water. On the palate as if you just drank 125 proof white dog. Do you have the dropper over there? I do. Give me it, please. I thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here. I know 113 isn't high, or it's high for some. It's just based on your perspective, I guess. For me, that's not super high, so normally I wouldn't add water. There's no problem with it, but I do wonder if a couple drops will help open this up since it is like a marriage of two yeah. uh, products. Marry some water in there too. Let's see what some if some water maybe helps it be a little more cohesive, because right now I, I'm not feeling like it is. It's like an overseasoned steak. It feels like there's so much pepper and it's like you want to be like, can I scrape some of this off? Like it's a lot. Yeah, so I put four drops in. Again, very strange because their rye content isn't that high. Well, I like the nose better with a couple drops of water. 
open it up a little. I like the palette a lot better with a couple drops of water. Now on, the, on a fresh oh. palette, would I be feeling the same or is it just like in contrast, this is so much better than... I think it's just mm. like the heaviness of the oak char with all that pepper on the finish feels like I just took a bite of something that was really over seasoned, mm -hmm. like an over seasoned steak, like yeah. you said. It's like, it's still good because it's a steak, but like, that's a lot. Do we have to do that? I don't know. <laughs> to let you all know, I did open this and try it yesterday. <gasps> Betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because people are gonna say, you know. You should have let you it should have loved it. And, and we have a little bit, but not very much. This may change dramatically as it gets lower in the bottle um, and it has more airtime. And that's something that we will monitor and report back on, you know, live shows or whatever it is. But this initial semi-fresh crack, it's it's a lot. It's it's punchy. I am perfectly content with the Knob Creek small batch, the Knob Creek single barrel, and the Knob Creek rye on their own, and the single barrel rye. I don't think that I'll find myself reaching for this one. Um, but uh, you know, 55 bucks, right? Uh, yeah, and I- For 113 I, proof blend of nine and seven year, not a bad choice. I know the price of uh, regular, you know, nine year Knob Creek small batch is around $30. I was gonna check on the rye, cause I can't remember that. So $33 for the seven year, um, you know, rye. So a $30 and a $33 equals Some, a $55. I don't know- But we're I, getting, you know, higher proof. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, you're, you're 13 points higher, but also like 120 proof single barrel is around $55. Yeah, see, I guess between the two, I'm taking the 120 proof single barrel. I'm taking all three of those this. bottles over this one. I think so too. It is over season. It's, over, it's a little too much for me. Yeah. And I like big, bold, punchy flavors, but I guess I just know what the rest of their profile is like. Maybe they were trying to get something off profile for their portfolio. Not off profile, but a little different, a little different bit out profile, there. Different profile, yeah. In which case, I think they did that. But I still, I'm like, play the hits. <laughs> play the hits. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I appreciate a good experiment. I know that there are other companies out there that do boo rise, like we said, and that's great. I'm excited to have tried it, but uh, this one's not for me. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, hey, that's where I better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, thank you, Patreon. Until next time, Drink more bourbon.